today we take you to the stage for a look back at OC's Got Talent. Let's see who shined in the spotlight. Plus, are you struggling with some of your classes? We'll show you how to get tutoring from the National Honor Society. And we'll recap the epic comeback by the boys basketball team. These stories and more, it all starts now on The Current OC. From OCTV. Raider Nation's leading news magazine starts now. This is Current OC. Hello, and welcome to The Current OC. I'm Vincent Perino. And I'm Kira Riley. Spring break is just on the horizon, and a lot has been happening around the school. But do not worry, your favorite anchors are back to fill you in on what's hot and what's not. Well, that's right. From student athletes setting new school records, drama go rehearsing for the spring musical, and rebellious students still wearing backpacks, the second half of the school year is well on its way. Most recently, though, the annual OC's Got Talent event took place last Friday. The show was a night to remember or forget. Dealer's choice. Were you able to come watch it, Kira? Oh, I did, Vincent, and it was definitely something I won't forget. O.C. Scott Talent finally took to the stage after being postponed for four whole weeks. The show was full of music from the genres of pop, rap, theater, classical, and even an original piece by Liv Schmidt that ended up winning first place. The show was hosted by Ryan Mulraney and our very own Elijah Watson. Here's a closer look. Here are our amazing MCs, Ryan Mulraney and Eli Watson. And uh, I'm Eli Watson. And I'm Ryan Mulraney. And I've got to say, it's great to be here hosting such an amazing night of talent and entertainment, especially when we have such a great crowd. Woo! So, yeah. He's only a boy. Great. It's nice to see the hidden talent of the school take stage. And Vincent, you had some nice vocals. I wish there was a fourth place. Well, same here, Kira, but you can't win them all. Congratulations to the winners once again. Your talent is unforgettable. And a special thank you to Key Club for being the setting up of this annual event. One other event that will be taking the stage next month is the spring musical, Legally Blonde. When a musical is on its way, you already know the backbone of this event of Drama Guild is hard at work, Mrs. Byrne. Mama Byrne, as the members of the Drama Guild like to call her, is the costume designer for both the fall play and the spring musical. She's been working on costume design for the past 12 years and has it left an incredible impact on everyone involved in the Guild. I asked Mama Byrne what is the most difficult part about the spring musical. Every year we get a new batch of freshmen and mm. I say, ew. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I don't really say you. I just say, oh, another group we have to break in. <laughs> and then they grow on me. Mm. And by senior year, I can't even talk to you. <laughs> um, say goodbye to seniors. Mm. But the show, technically for the show, mm. quick changes. Mm -hmm. um, Elle goes through 14 costumes yeah. in 17 scenes. Yeah. We have to do our best to hide anything from the audience that we don't want to be seen, but also get them into, like, mm -hmm. make that spectacular change, mm -hmm. like, Oh my gosh, oh my in 10 God. seconds, there is something new. What is your favorite part about being a part of Drama Guild? The kids. Absolutely, mm. the kids. Um, awesome. I have so much fun with all the students. Mm. I love when somebody joins Drama Guild and they think, oh, I can only do one thing, or oh. I can't do anything, or I have no talent. Mm. Everybody's got talent. Mm -hmm. And this is a place to learn the extent of your talents by doing things. what that means. <laughs> Awesome job by Mrs. Byrne, and good luck with the show. We are just about at the halfway point in the school year, and many students have found themselves stressed over homework, tests, and even senioritis for some. With such a heavy workload, many students are in desperate need of some help with their assignments, and our very own peer tutoring program is here to help. Take it away, Eli. Inside the school library, there are many things. 
books, chargers, people just relaxing. But there's also people dedicated to helping others. A little-known opportunity here at OCHS is peer tutoring. You may be asking yourself, what exactly is peer tutoring? So uh, I am the NHS advisor, and we realize that there's a huge need for students to peer tutor each other. Sometimes what your teacher says doesn't necessarily make sense. It doesn't click for you. So what we've set up now is uh, in the library, everyone, everyone ha is going to have every single day an opportunity to have someone who's uh, qualified in science, foreign language, English, math uh, to be able to help you out. So I kind of coordinate all of that. We also got a chance to talk to a tutor themselves about the topic. I tutor in biology and physics. I think people should come down because it's free extra help for if you, you're confused or not understanding any subjects being covered in class. And there's always people down there every flux period for like each subject, whether it's math, English, science, or anything. So you definitely should come down to get tutored because there's no obligation. You just go down, you see someone, uh, a friend of yours or somebody who's really good in that subject area and they can, they've can they already been through the course, they can explain it to you. Um, so they're all NHS students, either juniors or seniors that can um, just help you out and there's no commitment. You can come in anytime. This has been Elijah Watson reporting for The Current OC. Thanks Eli for informing us on yet another great thing the school has to offer. It's definitely worth checking out. Now let's take a look at sports, where the school is still buzzing after last night's epic victory. We have Logan Smith here to tell us all about it. You can call it one of the greatest comebacks in Ocean City sports history. The boys basketball team with a playoff win that will never be forgotten. OC was down by 19 points at halftime, but they stormed back to beat Cherry Hill West in a shocking fashion. Let's check it out. Cherry Hill West jumped out to a double-digit lead to start the game, taking a commanding 19-point lead. But defying all odds, Ocean City storms back and cuts the lead to single digits midway through the third quarter. The starting five for OC each played well-rounded games, backed up by strong performances by seniors Corey Segich and Charlie Labar. Midway through the fourth quarter, OC completely shuts down Cherry Hill's offense, holding up to only seven points in the entire second half. But it would come down to the last shot of the game. With time expiring, Charlie Labar has a game-winning floater finishing off the miracle comeback and sending the crowd into a frenzy. OC wins it 46-44. This magical shot will be remembered in Ocean City basketball history. With this win, the Red Raiders season was saved and they advance in the state playoffs to play Camden and Eastside tomorrow night in OC. After winning the district championship, OC's wrestling team went to regions last week with plenty of confidence. Several star wrestlers were hoping to earn a spot in states in Atlantic City. Let's go to Egg Harbor Township for Region 8 Tournament. Ocean City entered Regions with two number one seeds, undefeated Nick Layton at 175 pounds and, a he and heavyweight Clifford Dirts at 285 pounds. OC was looking for its first Region Championship since 2014, and they will get it. In the heavyweight bracket, junior Clifford Dirks defeats Jason Ross from Timber Creek in the championship match, four to nothing. Dirks, the Region 8 champ, heads to AC to try to capture the state title. As for senior Nick Layton, He's had a tremendous season. He comes in at third place at 175 pounds, defeating Woodstown's Grayson Highland 8-7. Layton earns a trip to AC as well. 150-pound Jace Watson and Tommy Grimley at 157 pounds also pumps for a ticket to AC with top four finishes at Regions. The state tournament starts Friday at Atlantic City Convention Center and wraps up on Sunday. Remember Raider Nation, we need to pack the gym for the playoffs and make it a great home court for advantage for our boys. Tip-off is tomorrow at 6 p.m. That's it for sports. Back to you guys. Thanks, Logan. And congrats again to the boys' basketball and wrestling teams on spectacular seasons. Nice job, everyone. Now it's time for Kuba Klimchek to give us a heads up on the upcoming weather. The floor is yours, Kuba. Thanks, Vincent. As you can see here, that is a lot of green. Now, what it quite entails, I'm not exactly sure. What I do know about is that the current conditions, it's around 51 degrees outside. Well, it's actually 50, but the dew point is 47. Now, the dew point is actually, well, if you hit the dew point, I can describe it in one word, dew. So be worried about that. If we look into our regional temperatures, we can see that it's always in the high 50s, low 60s, but of course, it's always an outlier with Atlantic City, and the, wet, the water is actually quite a bit cooler, so watch out for that when we look at the tides, of course. Now, I'm not really get, quite exactly sure what they want me to say for the tides, but wait, hold on. Why did the tide cross the road to at 4.20 p.m., 4.20 a.m. be 
point thirteen feet. That, that's all I got. Okay. Now take a look at our seven, week, seven day forecast. Actually, it might snow on Thursday, but the rest of the week is actually going to be pretty rainy, except coincidentally, of course, on Sunday. Thanks, Kuba. You like that word do, huh? Sure. Mm, nice. Thanks, Kuba. I'll be watching out for that upcoming weather. Up next, we have Kerno C's fervent, fabulous, fantastically fanatic fast five with Mrs. Cook. We have the Kerno C's Gavin Alexander here to ask some very serious questions. Take it away, Gavin. We're here with Miss Cook about to ask her five questions for the fast five. Miss Cook, what is your dream dinner guest? Hmm, dinner? Fancy dinner? Yeah, any dinner <sighs> of all time, anyone ever. Dumbledore, duh. Oh, of course, that makes Professor total Dumbledore. sense. What is your favorite TV or movie series? Uh, pretty hard, let me think about that one. Probably Harry Potter. Yeah, that's facts. If you were to instantly get good at one skill, anything in the world, what would you choose? Probably riding a broom. Oh, I think that's good, that's definitely good. If you were to swap your life with anyone in the world for one day, who would you choose? <sighs> Harry Potter. That's good, thank you. First. If you were to time travel in the past or the future, what would you choose? Probably the past, because other than, you know, Harry Potter and my other favorite books usually tend to be in the medieval period. Yeah. So I think I'd be like a jousting knight. I like that. That's a good answer. Well, yeah. thank you, Miss Cook. Have a good day. Thank you. Well, that would do it for us on this edition of The Current OC. And hey, students, we have a special request. We need more followers. So remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on our social media feeds at OCNJTV. Thanks for watching.